Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's collections on Papa Kilo Database. Papa Kilo is an online database of databases launched in 2011 and managed by the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. It brings together cultural and historic resources, land records, maps, genealogy indexes, Hawaiian language newspapers, and other related materials from various community organizations. HPS partnered with Papa Kilo in 2013 to share select materials from our archive, and we have over a dozen mini collections that include paper materials, photographs, and audio clips. This tutorial is a brief overview on navigating HPS's paper-based collections on Papa Kilo. They include hula routines, career papers, and newspaper clippings associated with the lives of Kupuna Hula. When first visiting Papa Kilo, there are multiple ways to browse and search the site for information. The easiest way to view materials in HPS's mini collections is to search by collection. A listing of all collections available on Papa Kilo will appear. You can use the search bar above the listing to search all collections, but here we will just focus on those from the HPS archive. Click the checkbox next to our name. HPS's mini collections will display. You can search all of them at once or designate specific collections of interest. Let's check out one collection for now the Lifetime and Career Papers of Kumuhula Nona Beamer. Nona Kapua Ilohia Deshe Beamer was born in 1923 into the well-known Beamer family and was the eldest of 13 grandchildren of Helen Deshe Beamer. From an early age, she was an eager student of all things Hawaiian and spent most of her life teaching and sharing of her beloved culture and heritage. She was a kumuhula, educator, community trailblazer, author, and cultural advocate who embodied all that is aloha. To view items in Auntie Nona Beamer's lifetime and career papers, we will uncheck all other mini collection boxes and click search. Results of our search will appear at right, displaying item titles, the collection they are in, in this case all of these items are in Auntie Nona's lifetime and career papers, and a set of thumbnails. Click on the thumbnail with an eye to display more information about an item. Click on the center thumbnail to open the information in a separate browser window. Click on the last thumbnail to view the digital item. Let's return back to the item's information on the search listing. Auntie Nona was a prolific writer, particularly of children's stories, short stories, and essays. She would often write on the back of used envelopes and even napkins. Her short stories reflect her deep aloha for Hawaii, its people, and her family. Here, Auntie composed an essay titled, A Gift of Aloha to the Memory of Iolani Luahine. The item's info tells us who created this material, locations that are associated with the item, a short description of the item, a date or dates of the item. In this case, that info was not identifiable for this item, so it's not listed here, and information on how to contact Hula Preservation Society. We can also view the digital item from the small PDF icon below the title. PDF materials may open in your browser's window or automatically download. To download a PDF, click the download icon in the top right-hand corner of the browser window and designate where it will be saved to. Return to the search listing by clicking the browser's back button. Let's take a look at another paper-based mini collection from HPS. In the Vivian Huapala Mater collection, we find hula routines and choreography she collected during her time in Hawaii. She was from New York City and studied classical and interpretive dance. She became intrigued with hula upon visiting the islands in the late 1920s. Vivian captured some of the earliest moving images of hula masters and learned routines from them, which she wrote down. 
she became a close friend of Auntie Nona Beamer's grandmother, Helen DeShay Beamer, who was a kumuhula, singer, pianist, and composer. Helen was one of Vivian's teachers in hula and gifted her the name Huapala, meaning sweetheart flower. Vivian Huapala became well known back on the continent and taught hula in New York City for many years. Again, we will check the box for the Vivian Huapala Mater collection, leaving all others unchecked, then click search. Our search results display some articles on Huapala, information on Betty Jean Brooks, her student and the donor of this set of materials, and routines collected by Huapala during her training in the islands. Let's look at the routine for the Mele Anapao. A small blurb on Huapala is provided along with other information including a description of the item. For this routine, Huapala had a corresponding audio disc of 45 or 78 RPM, a recorded version of the song that was specifically used in this routine. The Hawaiian language lyrics are provided along with the English translation. The digital file of this item is one page. While the digital item is downloadable as a PDF, HBS states, this manuscript is being provided for its historical interest and is not intended as a teaching tool. It is not appropriate to learn hula solely from a paper routine. Its value is as an archival resource by way of studying the text, the creator's interpretation, and the creator's approach. These can assist in gathering insights into the era of the item and how hula was danced, taught, and presented in that context. Again, we can view the digital item by clicking on the third icon in the listing or on the PDF icon in the item's information. Select materials from other HPS paper-based collections are viewable on Papa Kilo, including a set of newspaper clippings associated with Auntie Nona Beamer's life, a small sample of Hawaiian sheet music she collected, and finding aids for oral history interviews, panel discussions, and presentations. We hope you enjoy your time learning about these mini paper collections from the HBS archive and encourage you to explore more. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about formal use of HPS materials, please email us at archive at hulapreservation.org or submit an archive inquiry form on our website. Navigate to the research and learning tab on the HPS website and choose HPS archive. You can access and submit the archive inquiry form from here. The archive page also provides information on visiting HPS, making a research appointment either in person or virtually, and the use of materials. We invite you to also visit our online collections website, Digital Umeke, to access more materials from the HPS archive, including transcripts, photographs, finding aids, footage lists, and video clips from our oral history library. Visit Digital Umeke through the Research and Learning tab on our website, Online Resources. Mahalo for joining us. Mala mapono.